Once upon a time, there lived a poor tailor with his wife and son, Aladdin. When he passed away, Aladdin was still a careless idle boy who would do nothing but play ball all day long in the streets. One day, when he was playing in the streets as usual, a stranger asked him if he was the son of Mustafa, the tailor. I am, sir, replied Aladdin, but he died a long while ago. When the stranger heard this, he kissed Aladdin on the forehead, exclaimed he was his uncle, and wanted to visit his house. Actually, the stranger wasn't Aladdin's relative, but a wicked African magician. Aladdin's mother was unaware of her husband's brother. But when the magician offered Aladdin a fine shop, she began to believe this man was a relative. My dear nephew, I've been looking for you for a long time. <laughs> yes, I am, sir. A few days later, the magician took Aladdin to a narrow valley. After lighting a fire from sticks Aladdin gathered, he threw some powder on it and said some magical words. All of a sudden, the ground beneath them opened disclosing a flight of steps leading down into a dark cave. Aladdin was afraid, trying to run away. But the magician caught him and told him to enter the cave and bring a lamp back to him. Then he gave Aladdin a strange-looking ring to help him when he was in danger. Abracadabra! Abracadabra! Take this ring and go down, then bring the lamp back to me. Yes! Yes! Following the instruction of the magician, Aladdin went through three rooms full of treasures without touching anything. These rooms led into a garden of fine fruit trees. Then Aladdin walked to a niche in a terrace, where he found a lighted lamp. He took it, poured out the oil, and pocketed some shiny fruits on his way back. They look stunningly beautiful. Let's pick some fruit. I think it's no problem. <laughs> they look stunningly beautiful. Let's pick some fruit. I think it's no problem. <laughs> Aladdin went back up the steps to the mouth of the cave. The magician reached out his hand to take the lamp. But Aladdin was smart enough to ask the magician to pull him out first. The magician had planned to shut Aladdin in the cave to die after getting the lamp. But Aladdin refused to give the lamp. So the magician became very angry. The magician threw some more powder onto the fire and said some magic words. Immediately, the cave closed and disappeared beneath the ground. Oh, my little boy, give me the lamp. No, help me out first. Oh, my little boy, give me the lamp. No, help me out first. Aladdin remained in the cave for two days. He started to cry and clasped his hands in prayer. By chance, he rubbed the gold ring that the magician had given him. Immediately, a genie appeared who helped Aladdin get out of the cave. Dear God, please help me. I am the genie of the ring and will obey you in all things. What can I do for you, Master? Get me out of here! Yes, sir. Bravo! Aladdin arrived home with the lamp and the fruits he had gathered in the garden, which were in reality precious stones. Then he told his mother what had happened. Finding the lamp quite dirty, the mother rubbed it causing a genie to instantly appear. He said he would fulfill any wishes of those who owned the lamp. 
Aladdin's mother fainted in horror. But Aladdin was very calm. He ordered the genie to fetch him something to eat. In a flash, many silver dishes of food appeared in front of him. Hmm, how much may we get for this old lamp? Hello! I am the genie of the lamp and will obey you in all things. What can I do for you, master? Get me some food. Yes, sir. One day, the king ordered everyone to stay at home and close their doors, while his daughter, the princess, went to and from the bath. Too curious, Aladdin hid himself behind the door of the bath to see the princess. She looked so beautiful that Aladdin fell in love with her at first sight. Arriving home, Aladdin persuaded his mother to go to the king and ask for his daughter's hand in marriage for him. Wow, how beautiful she is! After waiting for six days at the palace, Aladdin's mother was admitted to meet the king. She presented him with the stone fruits, which made him very amazed. He then agreed to let Aladdin marry his daughter. However, the chief courtier who wanted the princess for his son begged the king to delay the wedding for three months. He promised to present the king more wonderful gifts. The king agreed. Your Majesty, please let my son marry the princess. Okay, okay. Your Majesty, please delay the wedding for a while. My son will definitely find more precious gifts to present you. The king broke his promise to Aladdin's mother and let the chief courtier's son marry his daughter. Stunned when he heard the news, Aladdin ordered the genie to bring the princess back to his castle. Aladdin became even more renowned due to his bravery and generosity. One day, the magician discovered that Aladdin was still alive and immediately set off to find him. Knowing Aladdin was going hunting, the magician disguised himself as a trader and went to the castle crying, Exchange new lamps for old ones! New lamps for old! Hearing this, one of Aladdin's slaves took the magic lamp and exchanged it for a new one. The magician got it gladly and ordered the genie to send the castle and the princess in it to Africa. <laughs> The genie of the lamp sent the castle and all in it to Africa. <laughs> Coming back, Aladdin found his wife and castle missing. He wandered about like a madman, but he couldn't find them. Hopelessly, he went to the bank of a river. Aladdin knelt down to say his prayers before throwing himself in. In so doing, he rubbed the magic ring he still wore. The genie immediately appeared. Aladdin asked the genie to send him to the castle and set him down under his wife's window. Instantly, he found himself in Africa under the window of the princess. Heavenly Father! <laughs> I am the genie of the ring, and will obey you in all things. What can I do for you, master? Please take me to my princess. Yes, sir. Aladdin and his wife were overjoyed when they saw each other again. They decided to trick the wicked magician. That night, the princess dressed in beautiful clothes, invited the magician to have dinner with her. She lured him into drinking the glass of wine that Aladdin gave her. The magician, suspecting nothing, drained it to the bottom and fell into a deep sleep. In the meantime, 
Aladdin quickly got the magic lamp back. Sir, please enjoy this excellent wine. <laughs> Thank you, my beautiful princess. Stupid magician, you've been fooled. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Beauty Trap. Aladdin asked the genie to take the entire castle and all in it back to his kingdom. Meanwhile, the magician was left alone in the desert. When the king passed away, Aladdin succeeded to his throne and became a good king. He and the princess lived together happily ever after. Aladdin was grateful to the genie of the magic lamp and the genie of the ring for helping him during his difficult time. To repay the genies, Aladdin released them and threw the lamp and the ring into the deep ocean. You see, the magician finally had to pay for his greed and wickedness. Meanwhile, with his bravery and honesty, Aladdin became a good king whom all the people in the kingdom respected. The adventure of Aladdin and the magic lamp is really thrilling, isn't it? Goodbye and see you again. My last wish is that the genie of the lamp and the genie of the ring will be free. Now I can travel all around the world. It's so great. Great. We are free. Thank you a lot. đi lạc rồi tụi mình phải đi tìm bạn ấy thôi nhưng biết tìm ở đâu bây giờ up in the sleigh beside her kai had never seen anyone as beautiful as the snow queen